Here's a GRE algebra question. Let's take a look. The sequence S is defined as follows. S sub n is equal to 3 times S sub n minus 1. If S sub 1 is equal to 4, what is the ratio of S sub 24 to S sub 22? Ooh, sequence questions can be really, really tough. And really the toughest part about them is the notation, right? But I promise that the concept is actually pretty straightforward. Let me demonstrate with, with this one right here. What this statement basically says is that to find the next term in a sequence, S sub n, you take the previous term and multiply it by 3. So that's a little shorthand you can always remember. Uh, the previous term is the same thing as S sub n minus 1, or the, I'll say the previous term. There we go, right? S sub n minus 1. So that means that I take the previous term, I multiply by 3, I get the next term. Um, so we are given the first term here. The first term is 4. Well, what's the second term going to be? If I multiply the first term by 4, the second term is going to be, excuse me, by, by 3, the second term is going to be 12, right? And what's the third term going to be? Well, the third term is going to be the previous term, 12, multiplied by 3, so 36. You get the idea, right? It's not, it's not too wild after all. But what is a little bit wild is uh, are these numbers right here. S sub 24, the 24th term. Well, if I'm going to multiply by 3 24 times, like I'm going to have a really big number, right? Uh, and uh, 22 isn't much better. In fact, these numbers are so big that your puny little GRE calculator probably won't be able to handle them. And even if it could, it would take you forever to plug in 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So let's think about this a little more logically. The ratio of the 24th term to the 22nd term. I'm going to take the 22nd term right here. So let's just call that S sub 22, the 22nd term. Well, the 23rd term is going to be three times this, as it always is, right? Three times the previous term. So that's three times S sub 22. And the 24th term is going to be three times that. So three times three times S sub 22, or nine times S sub 22. Well, we've basically answered the question. What's the ratio of this number to this number? How many times bigger is it? It's nine times bigger because it's two jumps away. Correct answer here is C. For more GRE tips and tricks or to sign up for my online course, follow the link on my profile.